call a DK around the field a lot. Is that a challenge that you like when the coach asks you to call a receiver to call a game? Yeah, I always uh, love that challenge. Um, it brings the best out of me uh, going into the week. And uh, throughout the week, it makes me prepare the right way. So knowing the matchup heading into the week, um, I look forward to those for sure. Pat, what stands up to you about um, George Pickens? Um, I think he, he has elite body control in the air. Uh, he can track the ball well. Uh, he has great ball skills. And uh, I think he's a playmaker for sure. Uh, he's a great player. Pat, what kind of conversations do you have with Riley, who you know, was around a bunch of play but maybe you know a couple got caught right there yeah i just tell him i mean that's that's the nfl um you know i mean i, I think perfect throws be perfect coverage uh you know some sequences like that that occurs but um at the end of the day i told him like it happens you know i think he had a great game matter of fact riley uh he came in uh followed one of the uh top receivers that's been doing it for a long time in the game and he held his own for sure so um I told him, man, you played great. You know, all those catches and all those throws, sometimes it happens. You know, it's part of the game. So um, I just told him to always keep his confidence no matter what. Pat, you, can a home opener set a tone for the season um, with even kind of set momentum for the rest of the season, the home opener? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think we have a perfect opportunity to set that tone. Uh, you know, first home game of the season. Uh, the fans going to be there. we got home field advantage. So um, being able to play this week uh, at the stadium uh, is going to mean a lot and yeah. uh, has a lot of stake going in towards the season for sure. What are your feelings on Russell Wilson? He's not going to start. You know, a lot of people were kind of hyping that up, Russell Wilson's return, but it might not happen. Um, I already know uh, that was going to be the question brought up, but uh, it wasn't. we wasn't, you know, we focus on next man up at the end of the day as a defense. Um, yeah, and that's about it. Focus on the next man up, you know, and just prepare for that. A guy like Justin, who uses his legs a lot and might be able to escape the pocket and make these ad lib plays, what's key for that back end of the defense to make sure that you guys are locked in on what he's doing and also the guy that you guys are covering? Yeah, um, you know, with a guy like that, uh, we got to make sure that we plaster. Um, pass the receivers. Uh, don't allow them to get second chances uh, because we know uh, Justin, he creates second opportunities for the receivers and for the offense. So um, when you got a, a dual threat quarterback like that, you really got to lock in and hone in uh, on the second play ahead, you know, rather than the first play.